welcome to another video of edifor here i am starting a series of spss tutorial videos for researchers without any doubt spss is an inevitable tool for all researchers and it's used by various kinds of researchers for complex statistical data analysis spss is a revolutionary software which is mainly used by research scientists to help them process critical data in simple steps as we know data analysis is a complex and time consuming operation but with the aid of certain techniques of spss it can handle and run information easily so without any further explanation directly move to spss when you open spss you can see a window like this this is the opening window of spss here the new file and recent files if you want to create a new file on spss you have two options you can directly create a dataset file or you can create a new database query what is database query we will discuss later you can open an existing file from the recent file list these are the files that you are open recently here you can see three files with an extension of .sav that is dataset file so you can select the file then click on open you can open directly if you want to open a file that you can't see in the recent list here you have an option open other files double click this icon automatically pop up an open file window you can locate the file where it reside then you can select and open the file so you can open an existing file in two ways from the recent list or you just open other file icon here i am going to open an existing file from the recent file list so select the file and click on open button you see now spss open that file here spss has two views variable view and data view in data view you can see the original data these are the data that we are collected using questionnaires this is the variables which type of data that we are collected <coughs> two variables are there advertisement and sales here you are defining the variables so in variable view we are defining the variables its nature its speciality etc here in this data view we are entering that variable here we define two variables advertisements and sales in row here you can see that variables in columns the first column representing the data relating to advertisement and second column representing the data relating to sales get it so active cell you can see in yellow color here we can select automatically that cell converted into a yellow background so the same data you can see it here the 3.43 the exact data is 3.43226 like this you can change the cell automatically the exact value displayed here so this way you can open and operate on data if you want to enter another value for the advertisement you can click here and directly enter 3.36 now enter here 10.25 like this you can enter the questionnaire data directly to data view the variable view is only applicable when you are defining another variable you can click here and define another variable in the next video we will discuss on creating variables so this is the data view and variable view now we are opening a new file how we can open a new file click here new data you see now we are opened a fresh file here you can define the variable and you can enter the variable in data view this way you can open an existing file the same way you can open a fresh file i hope you understand everything how we can open an existing file 
or you can open a fresh file over for operation i hope you understand this so see you next video thank you